okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous uh, video i have created a simple crud api which is a library api in nest.js so this is the next video of that project in which we will add the search and the pagination in this api okay so if you have not watched that video i will add the link of that video in the description of this video and uh, this is the second part of that video so in this video we will add the pagination and also the search functionality okay so now let's add that so this is the same project i go to the source in that we have a book module that contains these files so first of all i will implement this search so i go to the book.service.ts and then here in the find all we have to implement that now we will pass the keyword in the query of the endpoint and then we will get the keyword from the query and then search in the title of the book uh, if i go back to my postman if i type here keyword i type here like book one like this so this is a query we have to get that, that keyword from the query and then we have to pass that um, in the find uh, to uh, find the results with this keyword okay so i simply go back and i have to get the query so for that i go to the controller.ts and then here i will get the query here so i add here a query decorator so i will import uh, the query from nest.js slash common that is going to be query okay oops that is and i will pass this query also in here okay and for the type i will type here the express query and i have to get that from here so i will import the query as express query from um that is from express serv static core because we also have query here so that's why we will import this query as express query and also i have to uh, get that query here so i will simply import that where it is i add here query and type is going to be query which is this one so i copy it from here go back and i put that here now let's import it as it is like this okay now i have the query here if i log here the query so console dot log query simply save this one now if i go to the postman and click on send uh, if i go back um here you can see that in the query we get our keyword okay so now let's use that i simply type here const keyword is equal to a check that if query dot keyword exists then we have to search uh in the a title else we will return an empty object here so i simply type here that i want to search in the title field okay so the title will contain first of all the regex so regex that is going to be query dot keyword and also i add one more option here that is options and that is going to be i which is case insensitive now i have used here regex because i want to search in the keyword and i have type here options to make it case insensitive then i will simply spread here the uh, dot 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 keyword okay simply save this one and now if i go back and now you can see that i have two books here with the title book one and book two okay if i click on send from here you can see that we are only getting here book one if i type here book two now i only get here book two so this means that we are successfully searching in our api in the title of the book now let's implement the pagination for that i go back now here first of all i need how many results i want to display per page for that i type here const res per page let's call it two okay then i want to get the current page number so type here const current page is equal to uh, i will get it from the query dot page we will pass the page number in the query if uh, that exists and if the user doesn't pass any page then by default it is going to be page number one okay and we have to wrap that in the number so i type here number okay again we will get the page from the query we will pass the page like this page is equal to two page is equal to three and if you doesn't pass anything here then by default it is going to be page number one okay 
and then we want to calculate one more thing that is called skip so i type here const skip is equal to res per page multiply by current page minus one so this is a formula let me explain it for example if we have two results per page and user want to go to page number two okay so result per page is two current page number is two so we have here two so two minus one that is one so we will multiply one with the results per page that is two so it will skip first two results and go to the uh, page number two and display the third and the four okay so in this way it will skip the uh, number of results according to the page number and the results per page so now we have here skip current page as per page now we have to use that and to use that i will simply call here mongoose function first of all limit at how many results we want to display in the response so for that we will use mongoose limit function in that i will pass here res per page that i only display this number of results in uh, in in the response which is two okay i also have to call here skip that how many results i want to skip so we will pass here our skip variable that contains that how many results we want to skip simply save this one and now our page is implemented if i go here and just remove this keyword if i go to page number two send you can see that I only have two results in my database. So I get here empty array. If I type here one, it will go to page number one with the two results. If, if I uncheck it, it will stays there. Okay, so now let's create one more here. So I call it book three. And um, if I click on send from here, so it is created successfully. Search send. You can see that we only have two results on first page. If I go to page number two, oops, two, you can send. Now we have only one result on the page number two. So this means that our pagination is also working properly. Okay, so I hope that you understand. Again, we need here results per page, then the current page number that we will get from the query. Otherwise, by default, it is going to be one. And also we will calculate the skip, that how many results we want to skip if we go to page number two, page number three. And then we will use the mongoose function and pass the values in that. So now we have successfully implemented the search and also we have implemented the pagination in this project. Uh, in my next video, I will discuss about how we can handle errors in Nest.js. Okay, so make sure to subscribe to this channel because a lot of content is coming. And if you have any question, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. I will definitely reply there. And also you can find the code of this video in the uh, description of this video. And if you want to check out my Udemy course on Nest.js, I have made an in-depth course uh, for Nest.js. And if you want to check out that, the link is also present in the description of this video. So I will see you in the next video in which we will discuss about how we can handle errors in Nest.js.